Welcome to how to combine three market indicators with one killer strategy to win on over 80% of your trades while paying almost zero attention. To make money in the market, it's very important to have a great tools for market direction and these three indicators and one killer strategy is going to help you do that. My name is Peter Schultz and I've been trading every day for over 28 years and I'm going to show you some things that will help you consistently cash flow the markets. And even though you're going to see three great ways to tell the market's direction or an individual stock's direction, I'm going to show you something even more valuable, how to make money even if your indicators fail. In this short presentation, I'm going to reveal a complete system for creating wealth quickly and safely with probabilities that are overwhelmingly in your favor. First, we'll use three indicators to stack the odds in our favor right off the bat. Now, our first indicator is Bollinger Bands. First, identify the overall trend and then mark the high and low points based on the bands. Bollinger Bands provide a relative definition of high and low, not an exact, not a perfect definition, but relative to what the stock has been. By definition, price is high at the upper band and low at the lower band. One of the things I want to point out, and I'm just going to get my little pen here so that you can kind of see some of this is you'll notice how much of a stock's movement is contained in these Bollinger Bands. It's actually kind of amazing. John Bollinger created this back in the 1980s, and it's very effective to see when a stock is getting overextended and when it's getting um, ready to revert back to the mean. These bands are, are created by using a middle line. So the middle line there, the red line, is a 20-period moving average. And it's flanked on either side by blue lines at two standard deviations from the red center line. So these two standard deviations tend to contain the vast majority of a stock's movement. And you can kind of see that by looking at this. So the math John Bollinger uses to create these lines tells us 95% of the price action will be contained within these bands. But in practice, it's more like 90% in the real world, but that's still the vast majority of the price deviation. And it's useful to determining potential reversal points. So you can really tell when something's getting ready to snap back and you can see it over and over in, in when you're looking at the chart here. Another great use is to separate periods of low volatility from periods of high volatility. One of the things we've seen is, is when there's a necking down, when there's a narrowing of the Bollinger Bands, like we see right here, it's very often precedes a sharp move in one direction or another. Uh, and you can see it here, uh, and all of a sudden there's an explosion. Um, so th these can be uh, an effective way to tell you when a reversal is sort of cooking, when it's simmering. Now, Bollinger Bands are considered a semi-effective indicator with a 47% success rate when traders go long at the bottom of the band and go short at the top of the band. And you can see why. Uh, you know, if, if, if the stock hits the Bollinger Band, the bottom of the Bollinger Band right here, and you think, oh, this thing could reverse. Well, you can see that it can travel along the actual Bollinger Band for quite a ways before it suddenly decides to take off. And particularly with options trading, this is kind of tough. Your timing has to be pretty exact. But this does tell you relative extremes. So in this presentation, you'll see how to improve that success rate from 47% to over 80% by using the same bands but changing the strategy. So indicator number two is moving average convergence divergence. And that's otherwise known as the MACD, M-A-C-D. It's an acronym. And this is a commonly used indicator. One of the things that I've learned is that you really want to use the most common indicators because the stock market is a voting machine. And when there's an indication something's happening, a lot of people are recognizing the same patterns or using the same indicators. A lot of people will recognize, oh, a reverse should happen now or a reverse is happening. Uh, and so actually using some of the more common indicators is actually smart because you're really getting in with the consensus. So the MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average from the 12 period exponential moving average. The MACD is an oscillating indicator fluctuating above and below zero. And you can see that down here where, the, where we see the, the MACD. So 
it is both a trend following and momentum indicator. So what we're looking for here with the MACD, and actually we'll look at it on the next chart here, one basic MACD strategy is to look at which side of the zero the MACD lines are on in the histogram uh, below the chart. Above zero for a sustained period of time, and the trend is up, obviously, and below zero for a sustained period of time, and the trend is down. Potential buy signals occur when the MACD moves above zero and potential sell signals when it crosses below zero. So we can see this here, and, and what's interesting is the histogram if you're looking at this, you have the actual crossover here. So if we go straight up, this is this point right here. Well, yes, the stock is heading lower and there's potentially more downside here. But uh, an earlier point is where we see the actual histogram. So this is this one on the right is the crossover of the moving averages. The one on the left is when the actual histogram peaks and starts to roll over. Now, once you see this rollover point, you can see where you'd actually be getting involved way up here and capturing much more of this downside move. So you can use either. I like to see when the histogram is changing directions. It gives you a much earlier warning uh, and you can really get in on some significant moves here. I mean, this one right here, you would have got in right here and really rode this thing up. And with if you're trading options, uh, getting in early and getting your timing right is really critical. So signal line crossovers provide additional buy and sell signals. A MACD has two lines, a fast line and a slow line. A buy signal occurs when the fast line crosses through and above the slow line. A sell signal occurs when the fast line crosses through and below the slow line. So that's what we're talking about here is when these things cross. And those are obviously signals. And what I'm, I'm saying is actually watch the histogram. It gives you a little bit more of an early signal. The MACD performs best during trending markets. Fortunately, the market is trending most of the time, either up or down, especially when combined with the MACD crossover. The challenge for most traders using the MACD is that once the crossover happens, how much of the trend is left? So that's what we just talked about. But combined with the right strategy, the MACD can be extremely effective. And that's why I like to go a little bit more towards the histogram than the actual crossovers. So moving average convergence divergence, you can see different times to go. Selling call spreads is a bearish strategy. Uh, selling put spreads, spreads is a bullish strategy. We're going to get into that just in, in a bit here. And these indicators are actually a uh, good time is when you see this crossover of the zero line. Uh, and once again, that can be a little late, uh, perhaps a better time uh, just to get a little bit of a head start is when you see that histogram starting to change directions. Okay, indicator number three is on balance volume or OBV. Now, this is the indicator that you see in the bottom here. This is still the MACD on the top. So we've just put another indicator and this is on balance volume and what you can see in a quick glance here is is this chart on the on the the very top sector here you know the stock is going up down all over the place kind of hard to tell if it's going to be a big reversal that's going to keep on going or if the thing's going to keep going down well what the on balance volume does is it really confirms that trend for you so volume itself is a valuable indicator and OBV takes a lot of volume information and compiles it into a single one-line indicator. Super easy to read. The indicator measures cumulative buying and selling pressure by adding the volume on up days and subtracting the volume on down days. So ideally, volume should confirm trends. And in this case, it very much does, even though the underline is just jagging up and down all over the place. So a rising price should be accompanied, obviously, by a rising OBV. And a falling price should be accompanied by a falling OBV. If it doesn't confirm, look for a trend reversal. So, so like right here, you've got this, you know, big uptrend. You think, oh, this thing's going to the moon, and and you see a slight uh, uptrend here on the OBV. But what you don't have is a higher high. This low is actually lower. So we know that this whole thing is still in a downtrend, and that we should short the tops. That's really valuable information because. In the real world, when you're looking at these charts, you're always wondering, is this a breakout? Is this a sustained breakout? Have we really changed trend? Or should I short this breakout? Should I try and sell the top and ride it lower? 
So as you can see, the on-balance volume has been trending consistently lower in spite of some pretty big intermediate term rallies to the upside. This continuous downtrend tells us to sell the rallies as more downside is likely coming. Obviously, the reverse is true when on-balance volume is rising. So a lot of it, you know, a lot of our trading success has to do with our conviction. You know, how sure are we that a trend is still in place? And these head fakes can be devastating. You know, they can really whipsaw you out of your positions, especially when you're dealing with something like options. Uh, even with stocks, they can, but options, it's really dramatic. So on balance volume will tell you whether that trend is truly reversing or if it's continuing. And so the key here is to look for divergence. Um, look for divergence between indicators to try and pinpoint market reversals. Most often the market reverts to its previous trend and OBV confirms that trend even if the market reverses temporarily. So here's a great example. So here we got a red arrow and I'm just going to uh, reinforce that direction here. We, this thing is really going up where the overall direction of OBV is actually going down. This is, uh, uh, and, and actually what we have here is a new relative high, slightly higher than this high, uh, but we don't get that over here. Uh, and so we don't get faked into thinking that we've got a new trend here. Uh, this would actually be a great opportunity to start loading up on downside positions. So look for divergence between indicators and uh, for a confirmation of a turning point, look for divergence in price and also the MACD histogram. So as this thing was going up, we actually saw in the MACD histogram, it started to turn lower. And that combined with this OBV tells you everything you need to know about whether this trend is likely to reverse. So this combination of indicators works well for straight directional trading but it works even better with another strategy. So we've just gone over our three indicators and so they're pretty effective, but what we really want to do is combine them with the absolute best strategy to, to take advantage of them. And I'm going to show you what that is here. The beauty of these three indicators is they're not correlated. They work together to confirm a trend or mark a turning point in the trend. When all three tell you the same thing, you've got an extremely high probability setup. And they work well for directional trading, but they work even better using a strategy that gives you a massive probability advantage. So I want to just stop real quickly and say that what we're doing in, in trading, and, and this is really important to understand, is what we're trying to do is maximize our probability. So if you think about professional gamblers that, that gamble in Las Vegas, they get in these huge tournaments. When they're holding their cards, you know, even though they're really good and they, they know the odds really well and they, they really know the game, they don't really know what the other players have in their hands. What they do know and what they're so good at is the probabilities, what they're holding, what the chances are of it beating any other hand there at the table. So we've got a very similar situation. We can't absolutely determine when we're going to win or lose, but what we can do very effectively is stack the probabilities in our favor. And that's what we want to do because we understand that if you stack the probabilities in your favor enough, you're going to win over time. It doesn't guarantee you're going to win any single trade or any single play or any single hand at poker. What it, what it tells you is that the odds are in your favor of winning. So even if you don't win this particular trade, you'll probably win the next one and probably win the next one after that gives you the confidence to keep on trading and that confidence is bolstered by seeing an increasing balance in your trading account. So what's the best strategy to give you a massive probability edge? If that's what this is really all about, what can we do? What is that killer strategy that's so effective you can make money even if you don't time your indicators perfectly? Now imagine the comfort that would give you having that kind of a cushion. The trick to making money quickly, easily, and consistently using these three indicators is to use a strategy that stacks the deck overwhelming in your favor automatically the minute you put on the trade. The key to winning over time is to stack probability on your side. And the way we'll do that is to use options because of their built-in probability of winning by switching from being an options buyer, which is just about what everybody is out there, to being an options seller. And by doing so, we'll instantly stack the deck 
by over 80% on every trade we make. And our three indicators just increase that probability of winning. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, being an options seller or being an options buyer, it's really a pretty interesting phenomenon and I'll explain it this way. So the options buyers, the reason people get into options is because all this tremendous money they can potentially make. You know, they get enticed by 100% returns, 200% returns, you know, just crazy returns. So if you think about it, it's like the options buyers are the lottery ticket buyers at the lottery. So what does that make the options sellers? So what the options sellers are doing is we are selling those lottery tickets. We're selling somebody the chance to make a, you know, just a gigantic amount of money. If somehow or another, in some wild scenario, they actually have the winning lottery ticket. So what's interesting about this is because we're the lottery ticket sellers, we have a much higher probability of winning. I want you to think about who wins in a lottery. It's always the, the ticket sellers. Why do states have and sponsor massive lotteries? It's for raising revenue. They're not in there to gamble. They're not in there to see if they might win. They're in there to raise money for the state. Or if a casino is doing it to raise money, or if somebody's raffling off tickets for you know the local charity, they're doing it to raise money. That's why we're trading, interestingly. We're there to raise money. We're not there to win the lottery. We're not there to play a big game of chance. We're not there to swing for the fences. We're there to create consistent weekly cash flow that might be able to eventually support us. So this is such a tremendous way to trade because it's so forgiving. So let's just take a quick look. We're going to sell an out of the money credit spread that has an 80% or better chance of winning no matter what the market does. So let's take a look at this. We have a stock here um, and it has a big long downtrend with obvious peaks. I mean, there's obvious points of resistance here and each one is lower than the last, okay? So what we did or what this is an actual trade and this is actually something you can actually see the verbiage that I tell my subscribers. So I say UPS has jumped over the past week based on earnings hype, but the economy is weakening. So earnings will likely reflect that. That was our hunch. Plus the momentum is rolling over. So we saw here on the MACD, we see the momentum rolling over here on balance volume uh, is a continuous downtrend. We've got a higher high. Uh, definitely lows and then this lower high. So what we do is we sell an option here. Uh, we sell a call option and we buy another option because we don't want infinite risk all the way up to infinity here. See, if we sell this option, we're selling somebody the right to call the stock away from us. In this case, at the stock price of 152.50. Now this is above, the stock is you know trading below 145 and is starting to weaken. And our whole idea here, our whole plan is to sell a call that will never see the light of day. So we take in money. We take in a pretty substantial amount of money for selling this call. But we don't want unlimited risk. We can't handle unlimited risk. Our account can't even handle the margin of unlimited risk. So we buy an option to hedge. In this case, it's just $2.50 away. That's our spread. And that costs us a smaller amount of money because it's further away from the underline. So the result is a 57 cent credit. Now, you know that options come in 100 share contracts. So in this case, a 57 cent credit gives you $57 in your account. But that's just for one contract. If $57 doesn't do it for you, sell 10 contracts and get $570. And I've got people out there that are regularly my subscribers. <laughs> I've got some real stars out there that have really taken a run with this thing. I've got people that are doing 100 contracts at a shot. So that person would be taking in $5,700. Now, here's your risk. This spread is $2.50, like we said. So that's a two fifty dollars spread. But this $0.57 cents that you take in, this credit right here, that's yours to keep no matter what. So you have to subtract that from the two fifty dollars to determine your true risk. So your true risk is really $1.93. That's the most you could lose if this thing went through both your spreads and kept right on going. So a 57 cent credit 
with a $1.93 risk equals a 30% return. Not too bad. Now, I have to admit that we typically only shoot for a 25% return, but occasionally a stock pops up or it's got really good credit. In this one, it was a little while before earnings and you know the, the, the options were really juiced. Typically, I don't do that because there's risk involved unless I'm pretty sure of the outcome. So let's take it, take a look at that outcome. So during the time that we held this thing, earnings did come out. Look what the stock did. Oh my gosh, just completely fell out of bed, went straight down. Obviously, we kept that till expiration and kept our entire credit, which is 30% on that one. So here's another one. The SPX is, and this is right from, um, right directly from our um, subscriber, our membership. Now, this is exactly what you'd see. You get a huge other write-up, but this is just what you see on the chart. So you can see the Bollinger Bands here. You can see that this is at the top of the Bollinger Band. You can see that this is rolling over. You can see the histogram going down. It even goes below the zero mark. And here's the commentary. The SBX is having a hard time recovering its previous uptrend. The big index made it up to its old trend line, but that often turns into resistance once broken. With so many big cap stocks trending lower, the SPX is most likely to trend down from here. Okay, so what we do? So it came down, so we didn't even catch it at the top, but it came down, broke the trend line, came back up and touched it. Okay, this is often what was referred to as the kiss of death. And that is when the stock or the index goes back to touch its old trend line once it's broken, and that old trend line turns into new resistance, and that's exactly what happened. And that's also exactly when we sold this spread. So we collected a $1 credit on a $5 spread. So that means $1 from 5 means we only have $4 at risk. So when you collect a $1 credit on a $4 risk, that equals a 25% return. This is a very typical trade for us works like clockwork. One of the things I absolutely love is there's always a finish line. You never have to worry about when to get out of this trade. That's typically about 10 days for us. Uh, actually, nine days. We'll sell our, uh, we'll sell our spreads uh, on a Wednesday morning. The update comes out Tuesday night, so you have all night and, and then the next morning, Wednesday morning, to read about it and analyze it and decide if you want to do the trade, how to position yourself. So uh, we get in Wednesday morning so that's 10 calendar days, but you think about it. So that's the rest of that week. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is three days. And then you have five days, tra actual training days in the next week till expiration. So that's a total of eight days of trading and actually 10 days on the calendar. Pretty darn quick. What I love about this is nine times out of 10, you don't have to close the trade early. Now, you sure can. If it gets a little risky, if you get a little spooked, if you think the market's changing directions, you can close that trade down, remove any further risk, you're out of it, you're fine, you can either book your profit right then or if you have a slight loss, that's that's what ends up happening. But most of the time, you just like kind of take a nap and time decay and expiration does the work for you. The thing I think I love most about this is aside from its really high success rate, is that you just don't have to watch your trades. You know, you do a little Rip Van Winkle, you take a nap, you go on a camping trip, whatever, and this thing kind of takes care of itself. And I'm even gonna show you a method, very effective, to set stops at a certain place that will cut your risk in half. This is kind of, it's kind of an amazing strategy. I, I suspect that once you trade this way, you might not ever go back. So how do we know we have this super high probability of, of winning? So we only sell options with an 80% chance or better of expiring at maximum profits. So, I mean, that's getting that real, that probability really on your side. And that's purely based on the options pricing model, not, and this is important, not on market direction. Add in market direction using our three indicators and it becomes very hard to lose. So here's this particular trade. Uh, and we see, and, and, and I'll show you how to set up your account here at Thinkorswim. And what our layout is, is we have implied volatility, probability of being out of the money in the delta. So our probability of being out of the money, in other words, our probability of winning on this trade is 81.99%. So that's basically 82%. So I have a question for you. Say you went over to your buddy's house 
And he said, hey, listen, I got a game that we're going to play. I think you're really going to like this. Let's go out to the backyard and flip a coin. Now, this is a specially weighted coin. I got it at the novelty shop. And it's got an 81.99% chance of coming up heads. And I'm going to let you call heads. We're going to flip this coin. And every time, you know, this is just for round numbers. Every time it comes up heads, I'm going to hand you $1,000. Let's say you did that 10 contracts and... And it's at a dollar, uh, you know, credit per contract and you get a thousand dollars. So we're going to stand out here. We're going to flip this coin. 82% of the time it comes up in your favor. It comes up heads and you can call heads as much as you want. And we're going to flip this coin. And every time you win, you get a thousand dollars. Now, my question to you is, is how long would you stay out there with your friend in the backyard flipping that coin? And I would propose that you would probably flip that coin until it got so dark outside you couldn't see it anymore. And why wouldn't you? And once again, what, so I, once I, I mean, I traded options like everybody else. I did all the analysis. I did the technicals. I did the fundamentals. I took courses. I took classes. I did everything I could. And it would be regular options is like one step forward, one step backwards, unless the market really blew up, in which case it was two steps backwards. So really, really frustrating. And so when I discovered this, when I discovered credit spreads, it changed everything for me. And I've been trading this way ever since. So here's another one. This is a uh, prospects on EL as to lot are not good. And that's reflected in a sharp sell off after earnings on May 1st and an incredibly consistent downtrend. We'll be selling above both downtrend and horizontal resistance. So here's our downtrend, we're selling above that. Here's horizontal resistance, we're selling above that. We sell this call, we buy this call, we get a 51 cent credit divided by 149, that's a 34% return. Once again, a little bit better than we usually do, but heck, we'll take it. Uh, very successful trade, just expired not too long ago. Very happy about that one. Uh, here's, here's, uh, now here's interesting. Uh, this is more commentary here. This is another actual trade. The only mechanism that can create this kind of straight up rocket launch is short covering and the CPI print lit the fuse up a whopping 114 points in four days to highs not seen since 2022. So look at this. It's just absolutely crazy. We sold this call spread. We're anticipating a reverse. This turned around. We bought this call, creating a spread, a $5 spread there. Uh, we got a 111 credit and 111 minus, you know, from $5 is 389. That gave us a really nice 29% return. Um, so your odds of winning with this strategy are extraordinary, but the real appeal might be your ease of trading. So, you know, these people that are looking at all these indicators and, you know, it's going up, it's going down, you know, the, the stock is liable to hit if they have enough lines on that chart, one of those lines going through there. It's crazy. You have to watch it all the time. You have to be Johnny on the spot with your mouse. You have to be so good. And then still oftentimes you end up losing. This is so easy. You put on the trade, you stack the probabilities in your favor right off the bat and you just have an overwhelming chance of winning. You can go play golf. You can go to work, you can spend some time with your family, but what you're not doing is hovering over your computer, hoping for something nice to happen. So once you put on a trade, you simply enter a stop, right? Well, I'll show you and walk away knowing you have over an 80% chance of winning. And even if you don't win, your potential losses will be cut in half based on the automatic orders I'll show you how to enter. So not only do you have an overwhelming chance of winning, but you get to enjoy a pretty carefree lifestyle as well. I call that the best of both worlds. So here's here's a trade right here. And I want to show you what happened is on this one, we actually, I got nervous. This thing kind of reversed here. So we closed this one early. And I want to point this out because that's something that you can do. If you get nervous, you don't like the action here, just close it early. Oftentimes, if there's been some time decay, you'll still book a profit but there is an escape hatch. You're not locked into keeping this thing all the way to expiration, even though most of the time that's what you do. So we target 25% per trade. As you can see, sometimes we exceed that, but what is an attainable return you can expect over time? So we don't get you know 25% on our whole, whole account. We hold cash back for emergencies. Sometimes we do rolls, sometimes we do buybacks. There's a lot of ways to make these trades better if things don't go your way. In fact, you can actually turn a losing trade into a winning trade, which is another reason I love this strategy. 
So after factoring in cash holds, losses, buybacks, what can we expect? Can you get 20%? Now keep in mind, this is this is uh, every 10 days. So we're turning our money pretty fast. Can, can we expect 15%, maybe 10%? So I think you can be in that range. I think you can comfortably be in that range. And, and, and a lot of my people actually do better. But let's just get, let's just lower those expectations down to something practically nothing, something I know anybody can do. Let's just say it's 5%. We're shooting for 25%. Let's factor in some losses. Let's factor in some things that don't go right. Other amounts of money we have to set back. Let's say all we can do is get 5% on our entire account. So that's an amount I know anyone can make. And the key is you're turning your money it's really every 10 days or so, but let's call it every two weeks to make it even more realistic. So what I did just for fun is I said, well, what if you were getting 5% on your account every two weeks, so twice a month, and you started off with just a $10,000 account, super safe, the probabilities are on your side, so this thing is naturally going to grow over time. So what would that look like starting with just $10,000? What would that look like over time? Now, this is going to kind of blow you away, and it's kind of based on compounding. So you just you just take a look at this, and you can see it just goes up. It always goes up gradually at first. After about a year, because you're making so much money on your money, this thing just starts to go up exponentially. So after two years, 10000 a $10,000 account has grown into 104000 and you're bringing in over $10,000 per month. So you might be saying to yourself, okay, alarms might be going off in your head right now going, oh, too good to be true, too good to be true, this can't happen. Why, why, why aren't the institutions doing this? Why, why aren't the professional traders doing this? Well, here's the truth and the fact of the matter. They are. In fact, there's entire ETFs set up based on this strategy and funds that you can invest in that provide income that do exactly what I'm showing you right here. The difference is, is they take a fee. You can do this yourself. You have control. You'll have a way to make money for the rest of your life. And it can be a phenomenal way to cash flow the market. Now, in the real world, does the graph look like this? Heck no. It's more like this. You know, things go up and down and your account goes up. It goes down, da, 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 da. But the overall shape of the graph is the same. It's got to go up. Why? Because the math tells us it's going to. So you can try this strategy out for yourself, starting for as little as $200 per trade. Um, and you probably learned enough in this, in this presentation right here to actually give yourself a pretty nice edge. Uh, but there's just one problem. If you don't do well right off the bat, you might disregard the whole strategy and quit and go, you know what? That's just another thing I tried, another thing that didn't work. I'm so disappointed. You know, woe is me. And you quit. Well, that would be a shame because this really is the best way to trade because of your high likelihood of winning, the hands-free nature of the trading, and the tremendous compounded returns over time. So to make sure you start off profitably, this is so important, and stay that way, I put together an educational package that is the best anywhere for this strategy at a fraction of the 2500 sales price we used to charge. I used to sell this. I remember one cruise in the Mediterranean. I presented this to a group of traders. Big auditorium they had right there on the ship. They freaking loved it. They went crazy. I sold these packages for 2500 And you know what? People are still satisfied. I still get emails about peep from people that are so excited about being able to do this. Well, <laughs> I've improved the strategy since then. I've improved the package. I've added so much to it. And you're going to pay a fraction of what they paid and get something so much better. So the package I put together is called The Winning Secret and includes our, <laughs> our, opening, our opening little webinar that you're going to get a chance to see is How to Trade Credit Spreads for Fun and Profit. Shows you step by step how to trade credit spreads, how they work, why they work so well, and most importantly, how they can work for you. Uh, plus, you get a, I mean, this is comprehensive. You get a 161 page downloadable ebook, complete with colored charts, graphs, pictures, everything you need to start trading profitably and stay that way. You get a 10 chapter video series where you can hear and see exactly what to do to start generating income. You'll also gain access to archived webinars and video tutorials so you can discover new strategies and ways to improve your returns. 
and you'll have access to all new additions for life as an owner of this package. So it's a one-time fee and you get access for life. We keep adding to it. We add new things, uh, better ways to trade, and you'll have that forever. Plus, you'll get videos that show you how to set up automatic orders with our favorite broker for spread trading to trap profits, whether you have time to watch the markets or not. And we also have a subscription component to this package. Now, this is really cool. This is where on Tuesday night, I come out with two trades. I trade, I have a more aggressive trade and then a more conservative trade suitable for a Roth account. You get two high probability trades per week, and I'll show you exactly where to sell your spreads and exactly how to sell them for the possibility of maximum gains with minimum risk. Now, this part, the subscription part, is it's like $97, $99 a month, something like that. You can buy more months if you want to get a discount. But I'm not too worried about that, and I don't think you are either. This is ongoing. You get your first month for free. I want you to start making money right off the bat. So your first month is free. It's included in the package. You can make a couple of trades, get your feet wet, make a little bit of money, become a believer before we actually start charging you the second month. Well, the market is going to pay you for your subscription. That's what it's designed to do. I always thought if you're getting really good trading advice, if you're getting really good market advice, the market should pay for it. So I don't think you're going to worry about the subscription cost, but I do think we're going to make a lot of money together. And, and that's what I'm excited about. Plus, as an extra bonus, you'll get a 10-module video course specifically on trading the weeklies. That's the best thing that's happened to the options market in as, you know since 2012, since they instituted them. Uh, and I have a whole course on that you're going to get. In addition, we all know the best way to learn is through one-on-one -on -one instruction. So this is Deanna. So included with this package is a free one-on-one -on -one orientation to make sure you get your account set up the right way and know how to take the best advantage of this information. So that's a one-on-one -on -one phone call. with uh, It's actually Zoom. She can see your screen. She'll tell you where to go, how to take advantage of the information, how to set up your account, really get you started. So, so much of the time, you know, people sign up for things and they really don't get the attention that is required for them to really succeed. I don't want that to be the case here because I think once you're successful, I think you'll be with me for a long, long time. And then this is really the coup de grace here. This is the, this is the icing on the cake. You get a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching trade session with Alicia. She, we have a university here in the town that I live in. She's a finance major. She's so freaking smart. I can't believe it. She's so good at these option strategies. This is who the person I bounce new strategies off of to really take advantage of the market. She's bright. She does all of her numbers. She can code. And she's the, the coolest thing is she's great. You're going to absolutely love her. She's got a really warm personality. And, and people sign up for eight session coaching packages and they get them one after another. I think we've got one gal that's got had seven, eight session coaching packages so far back to back. Why is it because she has a hard time figuring out what a call or a put is? No, it's because Alicia is really good at finding great trades and making her students or the people that she coaches with a heck of a lot of money. That's why people keep coming back. And I'm including a coaching session for free with this package. This is an unbelievable value. If you look on the internet, coaching packages are typically five to $10,000 uh, just to get started. And you're going to get this for free with your pack. And I think you're going to sign up for more sessions. Obviously, that's why I'm doing it. You're going to love Alicia, but you're going to get to test the waters without spending a bunch of money. And I love that. So we put it all together in an incredible package. Um, I want you to come on board so we can trade this plan together. Invest what you can, improve to yourself how well this works, and then watch your account build. To get everything we've talked about, the most incredible package we've ever had, and to start enjoying consistently winning trades, go to worryfreeprofits.com. You'll see it all there. I'm not going to tell you the price here because I think you're really going to be impressed. What I can tell you is anybody that's serious about making money in the markets and improving your trading can afford this. Uh, the cost of this is less than one good trade, and I'm really looking forward to having you on board. So I'll see you inside the site.